Hello everybody, my name is Tokriva, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. Playing the Conquest of Paradise DLC as England, and we left off with taking a few more areas from Scotland so we may, can be sure to uh, vassalize them in a next war. But what I was thinking while doing some other stuff, like making an exam, which uh, I did in between, was... Oh, thinking, could we not perhaps vassalize them without going to war again? And looking at this negative, was it war modifier? I highly doubt it. Wow, minus 169. What is it with France? 175. It's not as bad, but still bad. Huh. Well, that's a thing. Well, anyway, um, before because we're now at peace again, I believe we can start annexing uh, these guys. Uh, it will take a little while, but the war exhaustion will disappear and we might get some more diplomatic reputation. Why it's so low, I do not know. Uh, overextension and legitimacy. Okay, so that should become better over time because we are coring what we need to core so let's just start with Ulster and that would take until 93 which is currently 26 years and we can also start with Cognat which will be until 95 because they have been a vassal for a slightly bit longer so we just start this as well by the time we might have a new king, so the legitimacy drop will happen to the new person. So we have these two. I guess we can now pull uh, our friend back from Ulster and see what we can do. Now next time we will once again go to war with Scotland. Except they are not guaranteed anymore by France. So as long as they don't get an ally within the next four or three... You know, four... Yeah, three years. Four years actually then we will be certain to just take them and be done with it. Uh, very important though is we have a couple of outstanding loans, three to be exact, and we need to be able to repay them. So for now I'm going to lower my maintenance on both uh, army and fleet. For now we are not really trading at all because we don't have any trade ships, sadly. But let's just make some money so we can repair loans and do other things in the meantime. And we're almost actually at the point where we can send out a couple of ships to start exploring. But we're going to need our naval maintenance back at that point again. Uh, what we're going to do is select a couple of characters with good names that will uh, go Le Glorieux, obviously a French one, L'Océan, also Le Zodiac. All French ships, actually. Uh, we'll, well, we're definitely sending Goliath in there. Uh, Bellerophon. Oh, that's a cog. It's just not what I want to send. I'm not going to send any of the French ships. Le Brilliant Ass Assurance. Not entirely sure. Ooh, the Dreadnought. That sounds cool. I'm going to send in three Carracks because why not? And we'll send in the Queen Charlotte. And we'll send them to the... Um, we shall send them to Cumbria, basically Liverpool, to send them off. France declares war on Brittany. Okay, good for you. Um, how is this faring? Eh, not very well. Let's put in some extra, but we can also put more into Spinola as well. Very well. And we have an ability to go up in military tech, actually. And I'm not 100% sure what it... Well, hang on, let's pause it. We can now get um, explorers and conquistadors. So we can recruit one, uh, but... Yep, I, I've thought so. Uh, actually costs uh, diplomatic power to recruit both admirals and explorers. Okay, so yeah, we can spend the military power on doing the upgrade here. And we shall upgrade our units to the longbow because well the longbow is a little bit more English basically the longbow is very English so chevaucher uh, well it won't be anything new until level 10 anyway so that's the thing now we need to wait for the inevitable 50 diplomatic points are there 
And then we are probably going to sack our our admiral for now. Uh, actually, do we? No, we can't have two leaders. Why can't we have two leaders? Oh, because we control the curia again. Okay. Um, give them support, despite that it costs us something. So I'm gonna give you no leader for now. One loan is coming due on May. Oh. Actually, not going to be able to repay that one yet. It's a shame. Uh, how are we doing? Oh, let's reduce inflation at least. We have some admin power to do this, so we should. Uh, vassal income is at 10%. We cannot uh, change that unless we change our actual monarchy, like to a despotic one or constitutional one. That's actually one of the better ones, especially because of the free legitimacy. We could build a marketplace dock or an armory right now, but I want to be able to repay looms. And actually, a loan is coming due. It would cost me 69 to repay, so that would be soon. But I'm waiting for the Diplo power to kick in so we can start crossing the ocean. We'll first sail past uh, Iceland, actually, because there's actually a... Colonel no longer really loyal to us. Annoying, but it happens. And this looks a little bit strange. As if there is a ship, uh, well, a piece of land over there. Which is a little bit unlikely though, but let's push Zamania back to our side. Apparently, advisor died. Ah, I see now. Um. I want this to open as a pop-up, so I can actually know someone dying. Okay, a plus two. Cannot afford him. Morale of navies would actually not be bad for playing England, actually. Ah, uh, colonial range. I would love to take you, but you are a plus three and way too expensive. So, let's do this. Then we are going to hire a explorer for you. Guy Byron. And I, th I believe I was sacking this guy, so we don't lose our military power. And you are just going to sail in here for now. Supply ships cannot reach yet, because uh, the Western Isles are not yet cored. That is not helping. Uh, terrain is coastline. It doesn't produce any tanks, because we need the coring, but that's on its way. So we're, the reason we're sailing past Iceland first is to avoid a heavy attrition because of being at open sea. So right now we are at a base value of 1 because we are away from our supply range, but our maneuver is actually reducing that. So because he has one maneuver, I can stay uh, like this for a while, but of course the time at sea will now start kicking in. Uh, why did... oh, did I already? know I did not. Okay, let's sail on a little bit. We need to, say, need to sail back and forth quite a bit because of the attrition. Our Dreadnought is already taking heavy damage. I have on the 20th of December. Western coast of Greenland. It's the name of the sea zone. It's not necessarily the name of the actual continent that's behind it. So, At least after exploring, it will go faster on the way back. So now we're at 11% attrition already. So, holy crap really need to extend my supply range into at least the coast of Iceland. Okay, what we're going to try at least is sail back through that node. Okay, we have 69%, 13% each month. 26, okay, we arrive this month and then it should be fast sailing home. Actually not sure if I can stay there, so we're going to go back to Cumbria, basically Liverpool. And what does a dock do? Just local ship repair. Well, no, I need to repay my loans first. So let's repay the first loan. 67. So yeah, there appears to be land over here, but again, not entirely sure if it's land or not. Uh, where are you? Okay, you. Oof, 19%. But the fact that we've already explored now makes it faster to re-explore again because once you get there, you get there quickly. 
So let's have a look at the uh, supply range. Overseas exploration is colonial range, that's not supply range of ships. Naval force limits modifier will be helpful. And of course, once we get naval, we get morale, prestige, force limits as well. Tradition, maneuver, blockade, ship cost, and ships repair when in coastal zones. That's so useful for uh, several reasons, actually. Uh, but that doesn't actually extend our range, which has to be done by, of course, this. Trade range, trade efficiency. Is it trade range or supply range? So we have 160 colonial range, but supply ships range is 150 here. So I'm thinking that our supply range will actually get higher. So how are you doing? Whew. Not that well. Well, in that case, we might as well pick a second uh, ship series and do the same thing. Ah, uh, the guy that we were investing in secondarily just got to that point. There he became a cardinal who is active. Okay, so I'm sending in another group. Oh, right, maintenance. Damn it. Ah, we have actually converted them all. So my fleet maintenance has to go up so my repairs go quicker. Okay, you get no leader, and you will all switch to this group. Mr. Byron gets sailing again. That's... Okay, ooh, that's a different node. Let's sail to this one. Burgundy took over as the controller, which means we lost our military leader for free. But for now, and we lost our second diplomat. So we're kind of stuck with... Um, integrating these two nations now and we are actually faster now because we lost our um what's it called wow our, our war exhaustion muscovy trade company in 1553 so we are quite early the merchant adventures company adventurers company sent a fleet of three ships with the intent of sailing to china through the northeast passage most ships were struck frozen by the ice cap and all their crew died of starvation except the Edward under senior navigator Richard Chancellor who entered the White Sea and reached Arkhangelsk, which is all the way over here. A small village that would later grow to a port in 1584. There he learned about the wealth and power of the Russian Emperor and journeyed in horse-drawn sleighs in winter to Moscow. So that's from Arkhangelsk to Moskva. Musk Where are you? I should know where you are, because, oh, all the way over here, wow. Um, although Russia and England had diverging interests in establishing relationships with each other, the Muscovy Trade Company formed to exploit the new trade. To exploit the new trade was a commercial success, uh, yeah, in particular with the Russian fur trade. So we get a 1% national trade income modifier for that, which is good. Okay, you are sailing. You're now only at 7%, which is good. Arrives in halfway through January, which is very good. And we're getting close to repaying another loan, at least. Despite our high maintenance. Yeah, we need to start making a lot more money. So. Okay, 16th, you're here now. Ah, we have found something over here. This is just a really weird connection, I suppose. So now we shall set sail there. Actually, 4% now because we are at, uh, at a coastal zone, actually. I hope for a free exploration so we don't have to get a conquistador as well. So we, And that would mean that's a lot more painful to use because a conquistador you actually need to set on land. So you have to bring cogs. Sickness of the king. Um, production or trade? Actually, in this case... Wow, it's really close. So I will just do trade because we uh, should be this. Beothuk, which if I'm not mistaken, if we go to the colonial region map mode, is in colonial Canada. Oh god, we found Canada. Go Canada. 6%. What's the trade? Colonial range. We have 160. 
374 distance away from our closest unblockaded core province that's actually really close and let's have a look at the tech we're getting 115 at level 7 of diplomatic tech that would mean that we're at 275 plus the 50 percent bonus from the overseas exploration that will be enough to colonize Beothuk. Yes, so we need to get to tech level 7 of diplomatic and then we are there. And that's good for us. Very good. Also, uh, another change is that ideas also will discount slightly on tech cost as well. So in our case, it's actually going to be a bit more beneficial to do uh, the, te the idea first. So we get the um, naval I the English idea of the Royal Navy and we get a slight discount on diplomatic tech and we also get um, perhaps an increased neighbor bonus uh, what I'm gonna do now is sail a little bit further to discover more land but we have found Canada but it's not the Canada we're used to we you we're used to know actually I think this is a slight bug actually this might be the original shape of Greenland and the fact that's how this area is shaped. Oh, hello, Stadacona, you're on. That's really good. And yeah, you're at 8%. I think it is time to use the winds that we discovered earlier. Uh, how do we find that again? Climate map mode? Yeah, it's a t this is temperate climate, which is good. And above there is Arctic. Where is it? Wasn't there a trade wind before? Trade goods, maybe? Maybe the trade node itself? Uh, oh yes, here it is, rock all. So, let's move like this. And get your asses into Cumbria. So, this is the Gulf of St. Lawrence trade node that we found. It's quite close, I think it's... Yeah, if... Greenland is supposed to be here. This is closer than regular Canada, which it can be very advantageous to us. Um, 389 away, 481 already. So yeah, these two are actually quite colonizable by us. Attack level 7 of diplomatic. So that's what we need to race towards. I hope my ship doesn't get destroyed in the meantime at 10% already. Actually, it seems that we have to take the quick route if we want to have any surviving chance at all 25th of May they're here nope I believe I will lose at least two of my ships maybe actually both of them one of our vessels has been lost I know two of them actually 9% it should yes it's actually saved one of them is saved uh, it's a bit far to North America. Uh, if only we had, like, Iceland. So, yes, we have found the New World. Basically, we found quite a, a good part of it. I'll send you all back into... Are they... Why are the hell are they all in Essex and not in London? I'll send them to London, then. Um, change this loyalty. Well, good for you. Um, let's do him, turn him back around. 15 in Brunswick, that's actually better. Uh, okay, so actually it is. it would be a fun idea to get a conquistador, put him on land over here, and oh god, aggressive natives. So we're gonna have to send in some troops here as well. See the difference here as well, the natives also indicates what type of... Uh, uh, what should we call it? Uh, not culture. Um, climate. There it is over there. Oh well. Okay, you can all stick together for now. Ah, we can repay a loan most definitely. Repay this loan. We need 70 right now. That will lower a bit. And interest almost gone. 3.71, it's not great, but it's not bad either. Don't have any revolt risk either going on. So when can we invade Scotland again in September of 71? Uh, this is admin tech. I definitely see the use of doing this. Uh, we will we'll get two buildings to construct. 
So let's get the admin tech up. How much diplo tech do we get? Power nine diplo power every month, which is very fast, really. But of course, we will need the range to do stuff. But we have found at least it's it. Uh, are the ideas exploration? Of course, Spain and Portugal, of course. But it might still be that this curves all the way back here and they don't have their uh, colonization range. It is possible. That might be in our advantage for sure. Colonialist. Ah, their interest lies in overseas explore expansion and they will prefer to maintain good relations with their neighbors at home. That's um, quite expected. For relations. Brittany, military access. I do not need that anymore. But I don't have any diplomats available right now. Oof, that's annoying as hell. And let's 70, 65. Let's do this. France declared war on the Provence. Four over there. Another loan. We need like 70 to repay that one. I'm going to check first if there's like a uh, temple or what's it, what's it called again? Temple or constable that is going to be making me more money. You know what? Let's just, I believe everything is repaired. We are not doing anything. Formalize the weights and scales will give us more money in the long run. So I will do it and I will lower my maintenance quite low. So I actually get some money income. Actually, yeah, I usually don't have to do it when I play a country and I don't like... Is that seriously happening? Wow. Teutonic Order expanding into Poland. Courland actually getting off of the Vonian Order as well. So our temples, 125... Oh, there are actually our temples already. And the Constable, uh, plus 3 in London. I will gladly take that increased income. Anyway, it's yearly income, but plus 3 every year is still plus 27, I think, every month, which is quite good. Point 27, of course, but it is good. Military power is slow. I still feel I should just go and drop off a, uh, a, f a small force of like 4,000 or 5,000 men over there. Despite the fact that we only have longbow. Yeah, good question. How much stronger are we then than long when we land those forces across there? It is indeed a good question. So, September has passed. Crap. Um. Yeah, I guess I don't want to wait uh, 13 years. So, I'm really sorry, Cognac, but we're going to stop the vassalization process so we can declare war on Ireland. Which means, obviously, that we have to increase our army maintenance again. Uh, which is exactly what Scotland is also doing right now. And we have our leader here, Lawrence Suffolk. So you can switch. No, actually, no leader. You get the leader. Here we go. Yeah, it should be fine. Declare war. Can you? No. Wait, what? We have seriously lost. God damn it. Fine. I'll fabricate a claim because I don't want to lose the stability right now. So we're going to claim five. I still do a uh, subjugation, of course, but we're going to have to claim it, I suppose. And they've already been discovered. At least we're only being going to be discovered once. Uh, did covert action aggressive expansion minus 25 and when we look at the coalition map mode yeah no one else really cared that Castile annex Navarra Lorraine is now supporting the Lorraine are they freaking kidding me Lorraine oh wait that's Lorraine Duh. and my personal union with under Provence, and Provence is in war with France, so France cannot come into this war. Can't really, yes, fine, stability hit. And loyalty back to Switzerland, the bastard. 
And let's put one there. The Tocqueville. Huh. Interesting name, if you uh, know what its significance is, of course. Uh, lots and lots of temples can be built. Uh, overseas exploration. Yes, please. Colonial range increases. English ideas advance. Slight discount on the next level of tech. 493 power needed. Should be done fairly soon. And when we go to the colonial map mode, we see that range does naval range actually almost gets to the Let's see over there. But let's actually check. Um, supply range actually. Oh, supply ships reach fast further instead of the range being bigger. Ah, so we can actually go into the coast of Iceland now without losing our ships or at least any damage on them will not be taken but yeah if Lorraine is actually guaranteeing it that's a bit odd but not at all impossible to deal with how much longer do you need come on usually I get we get a oh, the tooltip has disappeared here or something else is going on that I just... Because all the other tooltips are working, so... 70% done. Army is in position. Just need to get there. Money is still incoming. Did you build your constable yet, dear London? Terrain is helpful too, though. So it shows you in the screen of the cities now what the terrain is like in that area. Actually, if we go to the building map mode right now, I believe it's over here. Then London, we can build one more building. Oh, of course we can build a dock. I'm like, what? I'm like, wait, we have everything but a duck, but we can actually get a dock in there. Oh well, um, come on, Scotland. Weird that I cannot see this anymore. Annexation is right over here. Maybe it's actually separate now. Nope, it's just the same as it always been. Okay. Nothing has changed there, so. Total score, yay. Military rank, fourth, yay. Take a claim when he's back, we can go in. Declare war, take five. We have only Portugal as ally, so we are declaring war. And there we go. They aren't declaring... Ah, so they are the supporting independence, but since it's not a subjugation war, they are not called in instantly. Oh, right, we have a military maintenance. Do we? No, we have m naval maintenance. Okay, detach a siege. Continue on. And continue on. There, it's where you get to detach the siege and then move back to five. Here we go, and that should be the war, basically. Just waiting for all the sieges to finish. Oh, and in that respect, let's get our ship there, so we actually get a... Um, modify, not the penalty for uh, the sieged. Basically, if you're not blockaded in a coastal province, you get a minus two to a siege. So that blockade actually helps. Also, it ups the war score instantly to uh, 25. English vassal needs 64. Yeah, I just need to get everything uh, under our control. Okay, let's pump some more in there. Probably not going to get the other one. Um, Ulster, how are you doing? Improved relations. Yeah, I should just get cognac up then. No, no, I need my diplomat, of course. Why, why am I being so silly? 42, 14, come on. Let's just speed up to 4 again. I mean, we're here for the new world, not necessarily for anything else. Yeah, and forming Great Britain, by the way, requires us to have admin tech level 10, so we have all the time to just core everything and integrate everything, so no problem there. Uh, yes, foremost European power, yay. Also, I would love to see a 
uh, a free Norway so we can just get rid of their stupid Casus Belli they can create through uh, the Orkneys. Okay, we have no more outstanding loans, so we can actually start building stuff as well. Uh, I think temples are... No, actually, constables are a lot stronger in some areas, so Wessex. First siege is done. Okay, you're done. That's good for us. Let's send you into Aberdeen. There we go. 55% would they already accept the vassalization? Not yet. Actually, now they do. So I'm going to send this demand to them. Scotland is a vassal. We gain 10 prestige from completing the mission. And we can send everything back to where it used to be. We shall grant a new mission. Spread our culture to Meath. Incorporate Tyrone. Actually, what I'm already working on. So we might as well just take that mission. How long have we got left? May 84, 10 years. So, 10 years for completing that mission, which is good. Uh, yes, this is a lot. And seriously, a lot. They deeply distrust us. Really? What is that? Oh, crap. I still. Fine. Before I actually end this episode, we're going to cancel the access we are getting from Brittany. So we don't lose that military power anymore. Scotland's entered the Treaty of Support for Independence with our disloyal subject of France. Everyone's opinion of England changed. Good. Active Cardinal for the Pope himself. How is Switzerland doing? Yeah, you're doing fine. Let's... Ah, oh, crap. Savoy is much good. It's annoying that these guys still keep popping up. So, actually, let's check on that. So... Because they're very unhappy with us, of course. They're giving me lots of money. Uh, wait, what? Cognac Noble Rebels. Interesting. Uh, First Dynastic, they would not accept the... Yeah, we need to start improving our relations with Scotland. Uh, that covert action will remove itself quickly. Uh, the was at war might take a while. So anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. We are hopefully soon going to go across the ocean. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.